Since the beginning of winter, the amount of daylight has been slowly increasing. Meteorologist Andrew Tutt joins us now from the weather deck with more. Andrew. Well, Patrick, we saw an absolutely beautiful day today. Plenty of sunshine looking out over the weather deck right now. The sun is not set just yet. We'll get to the sunrise and sunset times in just a moment. But to understand that the days are getting longer, it all comes down to the relation of the Earth to the sun. We're going to take a look at the declination angle here for December 21st. It's minus 23.4 degrees, and that's the angle between the axis of the sun and the equator. Now, watch what happens as we march forward towards today, that angle decreases, so the northern hemisphere starts to get more light as the Earth orbits around the sun. By March 20th, the first day of spring, it's at zero degrees, and the first day of summer, northern hemisphere getting its peak for daylight, the angle is at positive 23.4 degrees. And as the northern hemisphere gets more light, the sun gets higher in the sky. Take a look at the sun angle at noon. December 21st is 22 degrees above the surface. By June 21st, it's 69 degrees. And let's get down to those sunrises and sunsets. Tomorrow morning, sunrise at 6.46 a.m., sunset 5.27 p.m., almost 11 hours of daylight. And March 14th, that date is there because that is daylight saving time. The sunrise will be at 7.06, sunsetting nearly at 7 o'clock. Doesn't sound too bad. And the daylight almost an hour longer at close to 12 hours. Time